Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve my high puff. As you know, my hair is short, but I can still do a high puff. Excuse my eyebrows, you guys, if they're looking a little funky. I'm trying to let them grow out, so yeah, you can just see all the hair. But it's going to be all good, okay? Just going to go ahead and get right into the tutorial. I'm going to be talking through this just because most of my videos, I either do a voiceover or I don't talk at all. So I felt like, you know, just explaining this today. So yeah, my hair is in a two-day-old wash and go. And I recommend when you do this, I mean, you can do it on freshly washed hair. But I feel like the style comes out better when it's on like an old braid out, twist out, wash and go. Something that will give you some texture in your style and give you volume and fullness so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it i'm going to take my water bottle and spritz my hair this is just going to make it more manageable so it'll be easier for me to pull it up in the puff Then I'm going to take my Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And you guys, I raved about this a while, like in one of my earlier, earlier videos. I went and got me some more and I'm so excited because like when I first went natural, I love, love, loved Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So I had to go get me some more. And you don't need much. It's just to moisturize the ends of your hair. To seal in all of that moisture, I'm just going to take my Design Essentials Botanical Oil. Alright, so now I'm just going to take my pick and I'm just going to pick my roots up and it's just give my puff more volume. And now taking that good old Eco Styler Gel. And if you don't gel your edges or anything like that, you can skip this step. But I like for my edges to be nice and sleek and laid. So I'm going to go in with my Eco Styler Gel. take your soft brush soft bristle brush and you're just going to brush your edges down all right so now I'm just going to take you take whatever you you know pull your puff up with this is just an old stocking that I cut and it's been like really stretched out so yeah I'm gonna use this to secure my puff so all I'm gonna do is just tie this around the perimeter like so That's how high I want my puff to be. And then you just need to wrap this and tie it until it's done all the way around. And if it can't tie anymore, what I do is take bobby pins and I pin it in place. Take my fingers and kind of fluff it up like this. Pull, make sure ain't no hair coming out of the puff because if you have short hair like mine, sometimes the hair in the back likes to come out. Then I take my pick again and I just go in there. Oh, 
Right, so then I take my curls, passion fruit curl control paste, my favorite, and I just apply that to my edges to sleep them down a little bit more because like I said, I like for my edges to be nice and laid. So I'm just going to take some of that and just go around on my edges. And I take my handy dandy toothbrush for my hair and then I just go around and brush those baby hairs into place. I usually like to do, which is my signature, I like to pull these hairs right here. Take some of my water, put it between my fingers, and then I just finger coil that. scarf and you put it over your edges and tie it as tight as you can stand it you can even you know, rock it like this as a style I think this is really cute what y'all think cute or not and you can let this stay on for what five to ten minutes however long i will usually do my hair first do put the scarf on and then i will do my makeup because if i try if i do my makeup before and then put the gel on my edges and whatnot then the perimeter of my hair like my hairline where the makeup was will be all jacked up so i like to do my hair first and then apply my makeup so that's a good tip for you guys and there you have your high puff you guys so let me show you guys the back I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a big thumbs up make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what other videos you guys would like to see and also if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate all the love and support i know i say this in like all of my videos but i really really do appreciate all of your you guys support and i appreciate each and every one of you so i will see you guys in my next video bye